Hi everybody, it's Shelby, and I realize it's extremely late, but um, I have not been able to go live in a few days, so I'm just doing it when I can do it. So I'm going to invite a few people while I'm waiting on people to jump in here. So if you're watching this on playback, you may want to fast forward it just a little bit, but I've got something really cool that I want to share with y'all. It's kind of a follow-up to the sermon that I did. Um, on Sunday about being broken into beautiful and I've got some little sand dollars that I'm going to use to kind of illustrate. Yay, Terry! Praise the Lord! Yay, yay! Hey! If you can invite a couple of people for me, Terry, I would so appreciate it. I'm going to give everybody just a second to get the notification. I got something really cool. Hey, Amy! Welcome, girl. Hey, Charity! I'm gonna well, I'm gonna invite a few people and um, just give it a second or two for everybody to get the notification if y'all don't mind. How oh, you're so sweet, Charity. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Brittany, y'all, look at this makeup. I did this this morning before I went to. This is palette two. It's the dark grays, blacks, and silvers. Look at this lipstick. I promise you, I have not touched my liquid lipstick tube since I put it on this morning before I went to the business leaders luncheon. Y'all, this is sizzling. Let me see where I even put it. Remember, I had everybody choose. What group am I in? <laughs> Bless your heart, Amanda. This is my personal wall, baby. Hey, Ginger, how are you? So I used the color sizzling and I used Prim, let me show you that, in our eyeliners, y'all. I actually use this to do my brows with as well. Not that one, hold on. Hey, Teresa, hey, Kim, hey, girl. So I lined my lips with the, the color Prim. It's a brown, I don't even know, you might can see a little remnant of it. And then I put the Sizzling in a splash liquid lipstick and I applied it really, really thin with our lip brush, you know, this beautiful, magical handy dandy lip brush i love it in that cool little toys cool so um i put it on before lunch today i went to a luncheon where i had some kind of greasy baked chicken um wonderful lunch oh my goodness the chamber of commerce outdid themselves today and uh, yes thank you sweet jesus thank you lord thank you tracy um, I've had lunch. I've had snacks. I've had I had spaghetti of all things tonight um, for dinner, and then tonight with the teenagers we had a fun game. I can't wait. I took a video to show y'all this obstacle course that we did with our teenagers. It was really cool. Um, we had these chairs lined up, and we had them blindfolded, and we had one teenager that was blindfolded that was leading another teenager that was blindfolded, and they had to go through this obstacle course. And um, I did a video that I'm going to share later that will explain it. But So we had snacks. We had like cheese dip and pimento dip with crackers and all kind of stuff that I ate. And look at this lipstick. It, look, y'all, I've not, I've not touched this tube. I promise you, this is, this is, this is good stuff. I mean, not touch my eyeshadow, not touch my lashes, not touch my blush, my highlighter, all of this. People that just saw me a few minutes ago when I left church, they can tell you this is, this is the makeup that I've had on. Hey, Bobby, how are you? So, uh, incredible makeup. I love it. I've never had a makeup that looked this fresh like I just applied it, right? Okay, so let me get to the point of what I wanted to talk to you about, okay? I have here a sand dollar. This is a sand dollar that I ordered. Um, I have a whole bag of them that I ordered online. Hey, Lindy. Hey, Emily. Welcome. And this sand dollar has been dried out and has been bleached, but um, I'm going to try to get it where you can see. You can see it's it's the real deal. Like, it's, it's a real sand dollar, okay? Here's the thing about this beautiful sand dollar. I have, we find them all the time you know, at Jekyll Island, St. Simons Island, which is near where I live. Um, sand dollars are not anything unusual to find. But the thing about a sand dollar is you always want to find a whole one, right? You want it to be beautiful and intact and have all its little holes in, in place. Did y'all know that the holes, you could actually preach a sermon because they represent Jesus being pierced in his hands and in his feet. And this one represents being pierced in his side by the soldier. Yes, Marie, you know where I'm going with this, don't you, girl? Number 35, the sand dollar. Amazing. 
So here's the thing. When someone picks up a sand dollar and they want to collect the sand dollar, they usually want a whole sand dollar. But if you are looking only for a whole sand dollar, there is an amazing thing that's on the inside of this sand dollar that you may actually miss. On the inside of a sand dollar, and I'm going to try to break this so you can see it, okay? Let me get it where I can see what I'm doing. So if you break it really gently, okay, I'm going to do this. See if I can get to the center of it. Break this piece off. Watch what happens. On the inside, if you're very, very careful, you pull this apart. Hold on, y'all. Hang with me. Take this piece off. See that little point there? Hang on. I'm going to pull something out of here, okay? Hang on. Let me put it over here where you can see what it is. At the center of this, I'm going to put it on a little black thing so you can see it. At the center of this sand dollar, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, are these little bitty things that look like little doves. Hold on, let me get them. I'm just going to have to take them and hold them. See this little dove? Let me try to show you on my hand. Gosh, I should have practiced this so you could see them. This is what's in the center. Get it where you can see it. I can't even see myself. Can you see that little dove there? See that little dove? There are five little doves in the center of a sand dollar when it's broken. And if it's broken in just the right way, see those little doves? Let me get up here where you can see I'm good. See those little doves? They're beautiful. You can't even do it. Uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. See these little doves? Those are at the center of a broken sand dollar. These just came out of this little broken sand dollar that was whole. And here's what I want to tell you. A dove represents the spirit, right? A dove represents the anointing. A dove represents peace. And even in our brokenness, you know, we look for a sand dollar and we I have another one here. We want a sand dollar that looks like this one. We want it to be whole and we want it to be all together and perfect. But the truth of the matter is none of us are ever perfect, right? As much as we want people to think that we look like this one, as much as we want people to think that we're perfect and we have it all together. And you know what? If we're not careful, we'll want people in our life that look just like this. But what you, you don't realize is that some of the most beautiful people, some of the people that can add the most value to your life are the people who at their very root have these doves where the peace of God has taken place. Look, these little bitty, I want I want you to see them so bad. I'm going to try to get them on this little black. This is my mascara case. I'm going to try to spread them out. There are five beautiful doves. See that? Oh yeah, you can see that one really good. See those beautiful doves. If you break a sand dollar just right, and listen, God knows exactly how to make sure that the broken places in your life can produce peace, can produce beautiful things. At the very center of that brokenness, that there are things that are unexpected that can come out. Who would have ever expected these beautiful little pieces to come out of the center of that sand dollar? Who would have ever thought that you could preach a sermon from the center of a broken sand dollar? But you can. And here's the thing. God can use your brokenness. God can use whatever it is in your life that you you think is unfixable and unusable and not good enough and not adequate. You know what? Your sufficiency, Paul said this. He said, my sufficiency is not of myself. My sufficiency is of God. My life verse, one of my life verses is in 1 Corinthians 15, 10. It says, I am what I am by the grace of God. And you know what? The grace of God has had to take me through some broken places. But those broken places, because of the grace of God, have produced beautiful places of peace. I, I can trust him. Yes, exactly, Tara. Romans 8, 28. He does. He works everything to the good of those who love him. He does. And if you will allow him to, at the very center of that broken place, place. You can find peace. Listen, you don't have to stay in your brokenness. You don't have to, you know what? Sometimes we stay in brokenness because we don't know how to identify ourselves any other way. We don't know how to get attention from people any other way. We feel like that if we allow God to heal us, then why would we? Why would people feel like that they still needed to be a part of our life, right? If we weren't broken, then there would be people who wouldn't have any need to be there. But as long as we stay in our brokenness, as long as we stay dependent on other people, as long as 
we're helpless and we've got to be at the mercy of other people, then we feel like that that's what attracts people to us. When you don't realize that if you would allow God to take those broken pieces and make something beautiful and bring bring peace in the midst of that brokenness, and quit pretending that you look like this. Yes, there may be some people that are attracted to this. Yes, there may be some people who are looking for this. But it's only those people who don't recognize the beauty that comes whenever you allow brokenness to come into your life. You don't run from it and you don't pretend like it's there. But you embrace it and allow God to use it. I'm telling you, beauty and peace can come. Stop identifying with your brokenness, okay? It's okay to use it. The Word says we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That's in Revelations, and it's so true. But here's the thing. You don't have to keep allowing that brokenness to be your whole identity. You are not what happened to you. That's not who you are. You are not who they said you were. You are not what they did to you. That's not who you are. And so we have to learn. And sometimes it can be so scary to learn a new way of living, a no, new way of being. And when we come to a place where we allow God to take that brokenness, it can be scary because we're not sure who we're going to be, right? We've always been this person. We've always responded this way. We've always had people connect with us. Our, we, we, our brokenness is what attracts people to us. But the truth of the matter is... When you stay in a helpless place and you're always staying in that victim mentality, you open yourself up to be a victim again and again and again and again. Can I tell you something? Abusers and people who are narcissistic and people who are um, they're just mean, mean-spirited, they can recognize a broken woman a hundred miles away, okay? They can recognize a woman who's been abused, who's not free and healthy and whole enough that she won't allow herself to be used and abused. They can recognize it a million miles away, okay? And they will flock to you. And so you deserve to be healthy and whole at the middle of this sand dollar, at the middle of this broken sand dollar that somebody would look at this on the beach and say, that's nothing, that's worthless, that's that's to be thrown away, okay? Maybe so. Maybe that has no value to those people, but you have value to people who are able to identify. Let me put these little doves back up here again. See these beautiful doves? These doves came from the center of the oh, of that broken little sand dollar and it's beautiful and so are you you are beautiful tara girl you are beautiful you have value you have worth there's still more to be done it's not too late it, listen the peace of god this these little symbols of peace here these little doves symbols of god's anointing these little doves Symbols of God's present with you. Symbols of God's approval. Remember when Jesus was baptized and the Bible says that there was a voice from heaven that spoke and said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Remember that story? Do you know what happened next? Little bitty doves or a dove. Let me say that. I'm looking at these doves and thinking these little bitty doves. A dove descended and it, it lighted on Jesus and and it was a symbol of God's approval. So at the center of brokenness, at the center of what other people would find no value in, at the center of something that most people would discard and discount, at the very center of that is the very thing that God used to show his approval. And he's saying to you, this is my daughter in whom I am well pleased. And do you know what happened right after that? Jesus began to walk out his purpose. Right after that, he began his ministry, y'all. Right after that dove, right after that broken place, right after that. So what about you? What about you? What if, what if you stopped identifying with this and you begin to allow God to show you this? This is my approval. This is my peace. This is my anointing. This is my purpose. This is me taking at the very center of your brokenness something very beautiful and showing the world. You may not have expected her to do this. You may not have expected that I would use her life, but here I am. You know what? Most people wouldn't expect to find those beautiful little fragile little, I mean, they are just perfect. Gosh, I wish y'all could see the details in them. I mean, 
They, they, they just, you need to go find you a sand dollar. That's it. You just need to go to Amazon or somewhere online and you need to order you some of these little dried out sand dollars and you need to just start breaking you some sand dollars open and finding those little bitty doves at the center of it. Yes, Brenda, thank God. Thank God he's able to use it. I'm telling you, don't you give up. Don't you give up and stop comparing yourself, okay? Stop looking at this sand dollar and saying, it's perfect, it's perfect. You know, I don't measure up to that. How I'm missing pieces. Let's throw some down. I'm I'm missing pieces. I don't have education. I don't have income. I don't have support. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the self-esteem. I don't have the right uh, creativity. I don't have the right words. I, I don't know how to do makeup. I don't, whatever, okay? I don't know how to do what God's calling me to. Stop it. Stop the comparison, because God wants to use you even in your brokenness. I'm telling you, I want to break this sand dollar. I want to break this one too because there's beauty. Okay, here we go. For those of you who missed it, I'm going to break this sand dollar, okay? And many people would say, no, don't break that sand dollar. It's perfect. No, don't break it. But you don't know what's at the center of it. I'm telling you, you don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch at the center. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to pull it apart. You see those? You see those little doves? You see those? Here we go. Look at that. It looks like a little star. If if you do it just right, it looks like a little star. You see those? But those even come apart. Hold on, y'all. I've got to crush it a little bit more to bring them apart. You have to be real careful when you do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But there are the little doves. Look at the little doves. Hold on. I'm going to get you one so you can see it. I have to take them apart. I have to be very careful. See those little doves? There they are. Little bitty doves at the center of a sand dollar. God wants to take your brokenness and he wants to make something beautiful out of it. I love y'all bunches. I'm going to let you go. Um, I just wanted you to see the beauty and brokenness. God has so many examples in, in creation. You're beautiful. You may be broken, but you're broken into beautiful. Don't throw away the pieces. You never know what's at the center. Something unexpected may just come out of this. Love you bunches, ladies. Bye now. Have a great evening.